I'm going to show you how to extend the customer business partner into a vendor business partner in SAP SRM Assist. My name is Dundir and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contract. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget Please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. I'm building a document that will become a PDF how to navigate in the SAP at a glance YouTube channel. If you want to receive the PDF once it's ready, please send me a LinkedIn message. I want the PDF, your email, and I'll send it to you once it's ready. In this video, we are going to see how it's so easy in SAP S4 Anna to extend a customer business partner into a vendor business partner. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the Fiori launch part. If you don't know yet how to navigate in the Fiori launch part, you have a link in this video to learn how to do it. If you struggle to find Fiori apps, there is another link in this video to know how to do it. The videos of today, we are going to use the Fiori App Managed Business Partner Math Data to extend the customer business partner into a vendor business partner. You see how easy is it to do this. Now we have here our selection screen options. We can put another filters. I want to use normally the filter created by, so I will get my stuff. So my user, and then I press go, and then I have everything that I've prepared for the channel. So here we can see uh, that we have the business partners that I created. I can see the country, postal code, city, and also if I show details, I can see the, the address, street. Now, if I wanted to uh, add some more details here, I can add it here, for example, business partner category, I click, and then you see that the category is organization, would be a person, okay? It's organization. Here I also can see this business partner is created as a draft, which means um, is not finalized the configuration. In our example, we are getting this business partner. I'm going to enter in this business partner, the 1491 is the one that we are going to transform in a vendor. So if I go to the SAP B, I can see that this exists in the business partner table. And then if I go to the supplier, number of entries, general data, zero entries, which means we are going to do our magic to make this to happen. So, so what we'll do, first of all, we need to go for edit mode. We are in edit mode. We can change anything here, but we will not be changing anything there. So we go straight to the roles because as you may know, the business partner is associated to a role that will dictate what the type of business partner is. This is the role of the customer. We want to add a role of a vendor. So here I'm going to click create. So I'm going to create a new role for this business partner. How was this? F, this one. Supply a financial accounting. That's the role that we have been using. So first part is done. I'm going to make a check. So life is good, no errors. And I'm going to save. So now I have uh, the same business partner. It's a customer and a supplier at the same time. When we go back into SAP, SAP we, I'm going to see that I have already an entry here. So which means that the general data was populated until the vendor general data table to the LFA1. So whatever it was there, it was copied for this type. If we check the company code, it's not there yet, which means that we still need to create this business partner for the company code. Now we can see that our uh, business partner, uh, 1491, is already open for customer and supplier. However, 
we still need to finalize the parts of the company codes. If you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us. So in here, what we need to do is go to the roles. And then before I enter in the supplier, I'm going to edit. Okay, we are in edit mode. So now I can go into the role to my supply. So now we have everything from the, the supplier part, the bank accounts, identification, purchase in organization, there is nothing because there is not the aim of doing this. And the aim is to add a company code. So here, what we are going to do, we are creating the company code. G99, and then we need just to have a reconciliation count. Then we are going to apply. Now we do a check. So there is no error, life is good. And then I save. So now if I go back to my table of the company codes, I can see that I have one entry. The supplier was, the business partner supplier was created for this company code. Here, if I want to add Another company code is pretty simple. I just need to edit and then I go inside of my business partner vendor. We click in company codes and from here I can create a new one. That's 400 and I'm going to put just the mandatory fields. Same counts, apply, and then we check to see if there is any error, no errors, we save. So this has been saved. Now we go back to sub B. We make a refresh and we see that this company code was added to into the table of the vendors uh, LFB1. Now we go back one step. There is something else that I wanted to explain from here. So let's, we have, when I select here, I have an option to copy in the transaction code BP or in the other uh, Fiori app, we don't have this possibility. So basically it's pretty simple to copy a vendor. So let's imagine that I wanted to copy. We just need to click there, select, I want to copy. Then I'm going to change the minimal uh, information in order we not, not having any issues. So SAP events. So we change the name. Then what we have to change uh, and this, and then I can make a check. Okay, postal code is not maintained, yes. Postal code. So no, there is no errors. We can just go directly and we can create. From here, we can create as a copy. Now we go back one step. So this is the SAP at a glance that we just created using a copy. If you think that this video was useful for you, please make some comments. Now you know how to extend the customer business partner into a vendor business partner in SAP S4 Assistant. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.